New movement now in the Jasmine Barnes murder case on the same day that her family laid her to rest. Today, a second man linked to the case, Larry Woodruff, was charged with capital murder in Barnes' death. This comes three days after Eric Black was also charged with capital murder. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is in North Houston where Barnes' funeral took place just this afternoon. Brittany. Well, Lauren, today was a very difficult day for the hundreds of people who were inside of this church. Many of them showed up to say goodbye to seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes. Others tell me that they were just trying to celebrate her life. Uh, from the pulpit today, we also heard from Mayor Sylvester Turner, and he dedicated today in her honor. And we also uh, saw a lot of beautiful songs. There were prayers, also a balloon release today, memorializing the life of the little girl who was taken too soon. Now the somber reminder was a small white coffin that was draped in purple and white flowers for seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes as she was tragically killed on December 30th. Now during her funeral, her loved ones tried to find comfort in the midst of their grief. Her father, Chris Sevilla, says that he believes that her death helped to repair broken relationships across the country. Mayor Sylvester Turner and Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, as well as Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, also offered condolences the sheriff stating that Jasmine's life mattered and that the investigation isn't over. He seemed fit to take her back to heaven to be with him. But her job here was done. I look forward to the day that I can truly say, rest in peace, sweet Jasmine, for justice has been done. And Dr. James Dixon also shared a message today, a message of love, as well as a call to action to end violence in the area. Now, there was a balloon release following the funeral service, and after that, the family left for a private burial. Live here in North Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.